HTC has done it again. Join me as I take you on a review of the Inspire 4G. Going into the physical features of the phone, there you saw the volume rockers. Right there is your 3.5mm headphone jack and mini USB sync port. Right here you have your earpiece and to the right you have your light sensor. And to the left beneath the earpiece is a LED notification light. And on the top right there you have your power sleep wake button. On the back you have a nice 8 megapixel camera with two nice and bright LED flashes. Coming to sound you have SRS WOW HD and Dolby Mobile. So this thing really does pack a punch with sound. And to top it all off you have a nice 4.3 inch WVGA screen. Going to software this phone is running Android 2.2.1 and HTC Sense. This phone does have HSPA technology, which is AT&T's version of 4G, so you are going to get lightning fast response with browser or anything internet related. Out of all versions of Android, the most customization I've seen was on HTC. You can change your scene, wallpaper, and skin. As you see right there, there are some widgets right there you can add to your home screen. And right there, I'm going to show you some scenes. So you have about six and I see there's AT&T, social, and a whole bunch of different stuff depending on what you like. Right here I'm scrolling through some live wallpapers. There you have HTC Sense and a few others and the very famous Nexus. So all you do is hit preview and then apply and then your wallpaper should load. You can also get more by signing into HTC Sense. All you have to do is make an account and sign in from there and you're able to get much more than what's stuck. Other than scenes, you also have skins. What this does is give the phone a look. So I, right now I have metal turned on, but I'm gonna scroll through. Right there, there's the metal theme. There's blackboard, wood, which gives it a nice wooden pattern and a wooden background. And you also have slate. And just like the scenes, you're also able to get more by signing into HTC Sense. And right there, here's Portable Hotspot. I'm just going to show you a quick demo. My name is Jamil Hotspot, and I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is to hook up to the network. So right there, I'm going to pick up my other phone and turn on Wi-Fi. And we turn on Wi-Fi, and there's Jamil's Hotspot. Disclaimer alert in five, four, three, two, one. I am not responsible for any extra charges you get for using portable hotspots, so be careful and make sure you know your data plan. Next up we have the camera. So we're just going to go in the app and show you guys. So right there you have your gallery, that was the first button. That second one with the wand, you can put different effects such as distortion, vignet, or vignet. And you have a ton of different effects, so you see right there, vignet adds a kind of color correction also with the black edges. You have depth of field, negative, and all those little fun items. The middle one is of course the shutter, take a picture. And you can share your picture through Facebook or Facebook through HTC Sense, email, P, Picasa, and everything. You can also trash it if you don't like it. The lightning bolt symbol is flash and the one on the very right is switching from picture mode to video mode and vice versa. Here is the picture quality of the 8 megapixel camera. Go heat. And it also has a nice depth of field look already. And here's a video test.
Alright guys, so this is a video test of the HTC Inspire 4G. And I see we're just going out here showing some shots of my backyard. There is my basketball goal with a nice crack right there on the top. I see right here, here's some grass and ant hill. So that was a demo of the camera and video. I was actually quite impressed. When it comes to build quality, everything is fine, though I do wish the parts where you can separate it, such as the battery holder and the SD card holder and the part that has the flash, I do wish that was the same color as the back. I really don't like the different color, the spotty look. So I just hope you guys can fix that. In this very last segment of the video, I'm going to give you the under the hood of the phone and my overall opinions and pricing. So under the hood, you have a Qualcomm Snapdragon MSN 8255 1GHz processor. Memory, you have 768 megabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes of internal storage, and only 1.55 gigabytes are available from that. Though you do have an SDHC capable micro SD card slot, which comes with an 8 gigabyte card, so you're pretty much set. The dimension of the phone is actually 4.8 inches by 2.7 inches by 0.46 inches. The weight of the phone is 5.78 ounces with the battery. And as I said before, it, there is a 800 by 480 4.3 diagonal WVGA screen. And the battery is a 1230 mAh Lylon battery. And for operating time, you do have 15 and a half days of standby time and up to 6 hours of talk time. So overall, I do feel like this is a very great investment for you guys. 4G speeds from AT&T. The phone costs $99 itself. And the data plan is up to you guys if you want two gigabytes I think it's $25 a month and for 200 megabytes of data is $15 a month I would definitely recommend getting this phone if you are into a very fast Android device that is 4g so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I did put a lot of work into it this is also my first video edited in Final Cut Pro X expect more videos to be edited through there and until the next time I will see you guys in the next video all right, peace. Also, I would love to give a big shout out to HTC for making this possible. Um, I really did enjoy making this video and hopefully we can do further business. So once again, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.